Good morning and welcome back to the apocalypse here yeah, in Project Zomboy. Move to the window, please. Um, so I was thinking about the whole situation that we have right here. And I came to the conclusion that we're going to fill up this car with loot and then try to drive this home, dragging this back. Um, I want to get a roof rack on top of this. And, you know, I, I just thought since we have this car out here, I'm also going to make a few quick repairs here. Did I, did I miss the... Radio telling me anything? Probably did. Um, so I want to drive basically to the to the warehouse um, where I have some metalworking materials left over there. Um, that should give me the the stuff I need to build the roof rack. It's because I was thinking, our kitchen. Back at base is five by six or so thirty tiles, and the floor tiles up here have a weight of three each. So that's ninety weight just to get that back home. Um, so to be completely honest, I don't think we're going to be looting that much more stuff. Like the the trunk I have here is almost full. Because I did pick up the um, floor tiles here, the carpet tiles for the for the bedroom. That's another thirty. So we have so much loot that we want to bring home. Um, as much as I hate having untouched stuff in the city, it's just not realistic to explore everything and loot everything. And that's probably one of the the challenges. To just you know, have your priorities. And then also be able to just call it a day and say, okay, that's that's good enough. And whatever we need next, we get from get from a different town. It's like my, my instinct tells me, oh, I want to stay here until I have looted every single building and got everything. Fatal failure. Moldraw requires a crew dispatch. Replace fuel line. Okay. Well, that's also something we'll have to look into then, huh? So, yeah, I'm gonna spend the day then fixing up the car. Looting the remaining stuff that we want to loot. So this is basically, um, I don't know how much um, cargo the, the roof rack can take. But I'm assuming it's going to be just barely enough. Oh, hello. Um, barely enough words. For the flooring, for the kitchen flooring. And that's kind of, you know, I was also thinking, what's my priority, right? What, what is bothering me most about the current base? And that is, like, the walls, which is why we bring in all the plaster and the paint. And really the flooring. I hope if we put down the proper flooring, then the, the like, roots and stuff that's still showing up, that it might disappear. No guarantee, though. So those are kind of the things that bother me the most, and that's why I want to prioritize this. Right, so what do we need for the roof rack? Six pipes, six sheets, four bars, propane and screws. Uh, what do we have here? We have the sheets, we have the propane, we need four bars, six pipes. Alright, I'm gonna look through the crates here and get that stuff together. Or may maybe we just disassemble some stuff. No, I think I'll, I'll, I'll find it quickly. Alright, I'll be back in a second. Right, uh, here we are, grabbing all the materials.
And there it is. Roof rack installs. 130 capacity. That is nice. Okay, that's going to be plenty of room for the... Um, For the flooring, and then also I was looking at the um, the military outpost that we have here. We can grab some of that uh, ammo, and I want to say any ammo except for the ammo we've been mostly using. So no shotgun and pistol ammo, but all the other types. Maybe some of those battle rifles. Uh, and for some reason, I have three propane torches on me, well, and a screw, and a metal bar. Yeah, these vehicle upgrades are kind of weird sometimes. Uh, sometimes it says, yeah, you need six metal bars, and then you use, you take up six, you install it, and then you have two metal bars left over. That's not, was I very efficient there? What happened? Um... Well, either way, let's pack all that stuff away. Now, while I was in the in the um, warehouse, there was a loud shot from the north. So, meta event sound. Oh, I can also drop that mask. So I was kind of expecting some enemies to, some, some zombies to be um, called into this area here. It's not that bad though. When I'm looting here, I kind of want this to be... ...a little bit less populated. Ah, I, see, I see you guys in the woods here, come out. So one, one reason why I was listening to the radio this morning is because I think it's been 10 days since the last helicopter. So it's kind of about time again. Um, but I guess this time we're not getting any warning anymore because one of the radio stations is broken. Alright, um, so yeah, let's grab everything that's not the stuff we usually use. Just so that we can have some variety with the firearms in the future. You know what? Also seeing this, we might we might take a, a metal barrel or two here. Hmm. Kinda, kinda have to kill you, because you're gonna find the way, and I don't want you to find me when I'm looting in there. Ah, we're down here? Okay, you stay there. And so I think we have the first, um, non-rainy day in a while, so get out of that poncho. And sure, I'll take, I'll take another battle rifle, um, so we have to take some of this stuff. Yeah, I think we have plenty of shotgun ammo, so I'm not picking that up anymore. 
eight times skull. Living a little bit dangerously here with no weapon ready. Backpacks in both hands, but we can always just right click drop and be ready to fight. <clears throat> Tia backpack. Capacity 39. I mean. I'm gonna run into that whole issue where we can't actually pick it up because it's weighing too much. You can also see that we're gonna run into the issue where um <laughs> I need to expand the armory at Beckett Base because we have too much stuff. But that just means we need to shoot more. Right? Let's take that MP5, take that sniper rifle, even though I'm, I'm not sure, like, Zomboid is not really a sniper game. You don't get sniping opportunities. So I guess the sand pack we can just drop here and then we use this for the front right seat as our looting pack. Still some stuff here. Wait, what was the other thing there? Uh, shotgun. MK twenty three plus. I have no idea what that is. What caliber? And I don't think I've ever seen an M Akai 23 magazine anywhere. No, nothing interesting in here, I guess. There's a lot of ammo in this place. I'm sure we're going to run out of zombies to shoot at this rate. Oh, I mean, the other thing that might have been interesting get some of these lockers, but I guess we have to pick those up in a future run from a different place.
I'd like to have some spare magazines. Okay, so this is full. Now, out of interest, that backpack has a weight of what? 39.74. Alright, so this car is mostly full now. We have 120 capacity on top. If we get the floor tiles for 90, let's have some extra... Okay, I think we can pick up two metal drums. And then we can pick up some extra floor tiles just to have some, some wiggle room. I was thinking with metal drums we could use probably to... Um, Put some rain collector barrels on top of our garage so we also can install a sink there. <clears throat> Alright, so that leaves me with picking up that kitchen floor. And then I want to do a quick tour through the neighborhood, through the residential neighborhood, and disassemble a bunch more doors because uh, yeah I didn't forget about door hinges and doorknobs you thought I would but I didn't and then I think we're out I think it's really just a matter of um, leaving, but driving back to base, making sure everything with the farm is all right, refuel and repair the generator, and then head out again and look for that small draw um, radio station. Well, we know where that are from the previous previous series, and fix that. All right, I'm going to disassemble some doors, um, take the floor apart, etc., etc. Okay, we're not going to have room for the for the jukebox, but that's fine. There's always another jukebox somewhere else. All right, um, I'll be back with you probably in the morning for the drive home. Well, good morning. Welcome back. Um, it's time to say goodbye to our home away from home. And I guess I could just get the fuel out of the generator, but now at this stage I just want to leave. Now, while, while packing things up, there are two things I noticed. One is I, I want another carpet for the base, so let's just grab that before we leave. Okay. Uh, two is, I did not pick up any windows, so I did make some 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 harsh decisions on stuff to leave behind to have a little bit room. Like, we're not going to be able to get windows for every single window. Uh, I think we can fit two, maybe three, depending on if we want to block the driver's seat here too. So before we fully head back to base, uh, I'm gonna be lazy and leave the door open for a second. Uh, I'm gonna head back out here. So we, uh, I am looking for dark windows with the four tile kind of four tile tiling. Seeing zombies here makes me a little bit nervous. There should not be zombies here. Yeah, this this is this is the kind of stuff I'm looking for.
And I'm fairly certain, yeah, they we make 10 each. So I guess at least we have then a window for the for the kitchen and the the living room. We can be a little bit encumbered, right? No, not the chair. I'd like the curtains. This is the weirdest way, you know, it's the zombie apocalypse and you're like, hmm, I really like those curtains. I think they would look ni nice in the kitchen. And then maybe one extra window. Leaves are slightly encumbered and we can't actually fit it in the backpack. I don't have any room left. This is basically full. So I can put the curtains in here. And some of the rock. Fancy green. That was green? Oh, I apparently don't know colors. 28 or 39? We can take one more window. I'll call that good enough. Four windows. Not encumbered. Now, I'm gonna position this guy here. And then I can bring the Humvee, hook it up. And it's almost a straight shot all the way back to base. Let's just make sure that these guys are not sitting on my road here. Oh, and hang on. Three months, ten days. That's that's a hundred days, right? Depending on how it counts the months here. Can do a weird video title now. I survived a hundred days in Project Zomboid and I still need to do some more. I need more curtains. Oh, that is not what you want to see when you left the door open. What? Well, goodbye. Fancy base. It's been fantastic. I enjoyed my time here. Brought back some fond memories of that multiplayer server, but it's time to move on. Move through the gate on. I'm still gonna leave, uh, close the door. And we'll find out if we can actually tow this thing back to base now. Or if we're gonna run into a, a box truck situation. I mean, worst case, as long as I get out of the city, I can always come back for the car, because then I'm not violating my each city only once rule. Ah, this is, we're flying. Beep beep, out of the way.
using the cruise control here instead of manually accelerating. How high can we go? 35. Not sure we're actually, actually getting going any faster now. It's kind of stuck at 30. The 30 is fine. All right, once we're back at base, we've got to have a look at that diagnostics manual and see what we actually need to do. Because it might be that we need to bring some, some sort of um, spare materials to that um, station. Now, weirdly enough, the fastest way to get to the Moldro station is going to be driving through Orchid, um, what, what we just left behind. But I think that is that is okay. That is not against my imaginary rules here. Always good to have some snacks at hand when you drive in. I think the next, uh, next turn left is our turn off. Yeah, it's been easy so far. I was kind of really happy that I did the, the road clearing um, a week ago or so. And I'm kind of sad that we didn't, that there's already so many zombies back on the road here. I'm not sure how the game calculates vehicle damage if it's the the vehicle you're towing in the back. Oh, we kind of lost some speed there. Come on, come on. Back on the road. I guess those on the road could have been drawn <coughs> sorry drawn in out of nettle uh, when we took the helicopter north here right they probably were pulled out of the town a little bit but the helicopter was not long enough to for them to make it all the way over there where where we were waiting This whole thing also takes, tells me one thing. It's not everything seems to be about horsepower because it didn't look like this thing had that much horsepower to begin with, right? What was it? 440? And, and we're towing like a champ here. All that extra weight. Question is, are we going to tow it up here? No, that's this is fine. Mm. Ah, it was fine. 
Okay, we can we can drive um, the rest in manually. Gonna leave the gate open here for two seconds. Ah, home sweet home. Gotta do some harvesting here. Be honest, as much as I enjoyed the little adventure, I missed my base here. I'm looking forward to pimping it all out, um, getting the floors and getting the walls upgraded, painted. Some more windows in. It's gonna be good. Right. And the cabbage is gone. The leak is probably. Yeah. No, it still says rotten. No, seed bearing. No, that's rotten. What do we have here? Young strawberry, young zucchini, seedling, young. Blooming potatoes. Yeah, okay, nothing nothing else. Well we could harvest the potatoes, but not getting seeds yet. Okay, so nothing to do on the farm. Generator is half full. Okay, let's just turn it off. Up the gas can. Look in here. We still have some frozen foods. Do a quick run through the traps, see if they're still alive. Might at some point chop down a bunch of trees so I can drive back here. If I'm feeling that lazy. Oh, God. half the traps are destroyed. I think we got the trapping um, tape. So, watching that, once we get to trapping level 3, we can build the metal traps, and they are much easier to rebuild. So anyway, um, I think we have the diagnostics manual here, yeah. Um, so I don't remember what exactly the, the error message was. So might have to wait here a second. Just 
gonna drop off some of the stuff I don't need on me. Let me just wait here for the full hour to, to listen to whatever the error message was. Come on. Don't be shy. As utility crew dispatch. Diagnostic codes are pulled. Diesel unit replace fuel line. Plumbing of fuel line and cooling lines. Where's the metal pipe? Can do that. That's easy. I just don't think we're gonna do that today. So I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day starting to unload some of the stuff. Maybe get the carpet in in the bedroom, you know. And then tomorrow we're going to grab the Challenger, make it ready for a little adventure, and drive out to the Muldraw radio station. So that's going to be down here through Orchidwood where we've just been. Um through Lake Ivy, past this area, and then down this road. And I want to say this is the... Yeah, I think this is the radio station. Like, we've been in the previous, previous, previous run. There one time had to replace a generator there. If it's just a metal pipe, that's going to be super easy. So that might just be a lot of driving and not much else. Um... So yeah, now I think I'm actually gonna just put a manual cut in here, not an episode cut, and we might just still do this in this episode, because that might really just be drive all the way over there, kill five zombies, install the pipe, drive back to base. That doesn't have to be its separate episode. So uh, let me just do a quick cut here, I'll do some unloading, and I'll uh, see you in the morning. Okay, I lied. We're not seeing you in the morning. Well, um, just a quick update here. Carpet is in. This thing does not disappear and I'm, I'm out of ideas. I was, I, I grabbed the sledgehammer to see if I can destroy this and can't select it as a destructible object. Um, there's no remove bush, grass or anything. Vegetate. I need to check the workshop if there's any mod to remove that. Or if I need to go into debug mode and, and remove this stuff. This is driving me nuts. This is ruining the whole base in a way. But I like I like the way the carpet looks. You have to kind of find a nice wall coloring that goes with this. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, that's that short update. Um, okay, anyway, more unloading for me. More cuts for you. And it's the next morning. We are on the way to the Muldraw radio station to see if we can fix that thing. And yeah, driving through what used to be our old hunting grounds just yesterday, but uh, yeah, this is now forbidden territory. Guess if there's too many zombies on the road, I think it would still be okay to go out and, and bash them. Oh, threaded the needle there. 
Look at that. But yeah, no more no more looting in this place. Oh, that's a that would have been a survivor house um, trailer right there. Now this, on the other hand, is um, already now Lake Ivy. Towns are kind of really not next to each other. Also one of the reasons why I brought you in on the way to the station, because, you know, it's it's uncharted territory for now. And maybe it could be our next target. I kind of had something else in mind, but hey, if we find some, see something that is absolutely amazing... Although there's not too much to be seen here from the from the roadside. Yeah, no, I was all kinda eh, not much. Now, this is the road we would be taking if my previous character was still alive, but they're not, so we're not. So, I'm thinking this is the right road. Oh boy. Let me just have these gentlemen here. So in my first series where I was playing with that radio station mod, I didn't know where exactly the Muldraw station was, and I spent like two days here out in the wilderness, desperately trying to find it, following various roads. I'm thinking it was some sort of super hidden facility and ultimately found it here out in the open. Ah, let's have a look. Not hearing any zombie friends? I wonder if these radio stations always spawn empty. This last time we also had no zombies inside. Never mind. That answers that question. Um. Let's go up here, and I think all we really have to do is walk to this terminal. Let's say repair metal pipe. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Uh, 
And um, let's see if that did the job. Oh, there we go. It's online again. Now, I kind of got lucky once again with that radio. It was the one that's close, closest to our base. Um, and it was a fairly easy repair. Green starting this evening. That's nice. We can replant the cabbages and the leeks. Podcast system integrity failure restored. You're welcome, game. All right, before I leave, I think um, I want to go around and see if I can pill for some gas here. Also, is that is that a No, that's a skyline. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is this is one of those right-hand drive vehicles, which kind of look nice, but um, are pain to, to drive because I get myself killed. So yeah, I'm gonna gas up my truck. Um, gonna check out the, the buildings if there's anything interesting to loot. I doubt there's much. Um, pilfer the gas that is here. Might even take some engine parts while we're here and then head back to base. Um, but that's gonna be it for today. I'm, I'm gonna spend the next few days building up the base again, you know? Plastering up the walls, maybe doing some paint jobs, getting the carpets in, getting the windows in, the curtains, doing ba base maintenance and, and chilling. Now, we still have a helicopter in a few days, so I'll probably just chill out in the fields again, kill some zombies there. Um, and expect, like, a cut-together thing like I did for the last few base episodes, where I'll bring you in for five minutes, tell, show you what I've done, and, yeah, the usual stuff. For now, I'm gonna put a cut in here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Ah, that button.